I have to start with this. What are regular people saying when you are traveling around the state? What are they saying about the Republican Party in Wisconsin? Because, you know, this recent ruling is, is the state Supreme Court saying, hey, look, these guys can basically stay in power forever. But this isn't the first time that the Republicans in the Wisconsin state legislature, despite the fact that the state is very blue, the legislature tends to be, legislature tends to be very red. This is not the first, second, or third time they've tried to block you and Tony Evers from governing the state. What do regular people say when you walk around the state about the Republican Party? It's not even close to the first time. As soon as we were elected in 2018, they went into special session to limit the authority. But at first, regular voters were just frustrated at the politics. Now they're frustrated about the absolute threat that Republicans here pose to our democracy. And this is because of gerrymandering that they're able to get away with what they're getting away with. The reason our state Senate and state assembly looks the way it does is because of the unfair advantage that Republicans have given themselves. And that's why it's so important that we have a U.S. Senate that takes our democracy seriously, that takes voting rights seriously, and also takes the issue of outlaw and partisan gerrymandering seriously. That's why this race this November in Wisconsin is so important. So I want to go into more detail with this, this specific ruling. The state Supreme Court just, <coughs> excuse me, the state Supreme Court just said, look, if somebody is appointed to a position, they don't have to go until their replacement has been appointed. But the replacement can't be appointed until they're voted on. And the Republicans who control the Senate say, we're not going to vote on anybody that Tony Evers nominates for us. What on earth are the conversations like with your state Senate? And, and, and beyond that, when you see that sort of thing happening in the state, does it give you any pause about what the future is like for this country when we're dealing with a Republican Party that's so anti-democratic? Well, I'll tell you, that is what makes people frustrated. They're tired of the political games. They're tired of being left behind. Costs are rising on families in the state of Wisconsin. People are finding it more difficult just to get by. And all Republicans have, all they want to do is play these political games instead of stepping up to the plate and actually doing something to help out people. That's why I personally get frustrated. I look people in the eye everywhere I go, and I tell them I understand exactly what I'm going through because I do share their concerns. I'm a working class candidate. I have been through or have gone through exactly what people are dealing with. And again, that goes back to why this race is so important. If gerrymandering didn't rule the day in states like Wisconsin, things would be totally different. That's why I need everybody who's watching today to go to MandelaBarnes.com. Help us out. Help us get rid of Ron Johnson because it is, like you're mentioning, it happened at the state level. But of course, at the federal level, it's even worse because these folks are trying to absolutely subvert our democracy. Uh, that is what's at stake right Right now, and we cannot take our foot off the gas. I'm so incredibly proud of the momentum that we have. I'm so incredibly proud of the response that we've been getting from people all over the place. And when we're talking about the political gamesmanship that's being played, when I talk to regular voters, it's not about left or right to them. Right. It's not about red or blue. It's about the people who've been at the top and the rest of us who are being left at the bottom. Mandela, I got to ask you this. You are running for Senate. You are the primary is not for several months now. You are one of the Democrats running for the Democratic nomination. You will face if you were to win, you would face Ron Johnson. I just want to ask you some key things, given what we've seen coming out of the Supreme Court. Would you be in favor? Were you elected? Uh, did you if you become the nominee and you get into the Senate, would you be in favor of a carve out, a filibuster carve out for voting rights and for abortion rights if you were elected to the U.S. Senate from the state of Wisconsin? And we are just under six weeks from the primary election. But I'll tell you, another opportunity people who have a chance to go visit store.mandelabarns.com because we have our Abolish the Filibuster shirt. So I'm absolutely in favor of the carve-outs. But I do think that the filibuster has outlived its useful life.